hello everyone welcome back to the channel for today's video we are going to be making this very sweet and subtle top that has this gorgeous um faux rouging at the back i absolutely love this top it is just perfect for summer and you can also wear it with a long sleeve under you know it's all up to you now this sewing pattern does come with 0 0.5 inch seam allowance half an inch seam allowance when you're printing your pattern make sure that you are printing at 100 percent scale measure that little box to make sure that it is two inches that's how you know you've printed right and then we are going to be snipping off the right and the bottom of those pages we're going to overlap the pages together make sure that we are making full circles with our pages then we are going to cut out our pattern pieces there we go we have oh, six pattern pieces no five pattern pieces including the strap um now let's go ahead i'm using a plain <laughs> a plain poly cotton i'm going to be using about uh, I almost said an inch i'm going to be using about one meter of fabric to make this pattern um yes so go ahead and grab your fabric and we're going to be cutting our pattern pieces together and make sure that we are cutting double of each um because we're going to be making also a lining yes don't forget the lining guys it's very important so let's go ahead and cut our pattern pieces as you can see i'm cutting my pattern pieces along the salvage which is how they should be cut i will be leaving some very helpful um videos in terms of how to cut your pattern um, pieces how to top stitch i'm gonna leave some links to some really helpful um tutorials so here are my pieces those are my uh, center back pieces and then i have my center front pieces i also have my side back pieces over here four pieces and also my side front pieces also make sure that you do um make a note of those notches it is very 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 important so here's everything um four of those pieces and obviously two of my straps um yes so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to quickly start off with the easy peasy thing which are which is making the straps i'm folding my straps right sides together and i'm going to be sewing my straps making them about in one centimeter wide So now when I'm done sewing that strap, I'm going to cut the excess seam allowance off um, because I don't want that bulking, you know, so cut that off. And then I'm going to be using my loop turner to turn that, that uh, sorry, I'm going to be using my loop turner to turn the strap inside out. And just to make my strap nice and crisp and professional, I'm going to be ironing it down, um, pressing it down, making sure that, you know, everything is nice and crisp. now i'm just gonna first start by sewing the easier parts together right so i'm sewing my side stitching my side front and my side back together first um you might notice that when you stitch them together one of the pieces might seem like it's longer than the other piece but i just want to let you know that that is normal when you sew at that um half an inch seam allowance everything will come together um, in a very seamless way so please do not panic and think that one of your pieces is longer than the other i promise they not it's just at the it's at an angle basically so i always have to give that alert because you know sometimes you know people might panic a little so i just want you to know that it's normal for one of the pieces to seem like it's a bit longer but i promise it's not this is what i'm talking about you see one of the pieces seems a bit longer right but then when you sew at that uh, half an inch seam allowance and you open it up it seamlessly you know together so when i'm done with that now i'm going to do the difficult part which is now i'm going to match up those notches and sew my side um front to my center front. and i did use a lot of pins um just to make sure everything is you know stable and is on point so be taking out your pins when you are sewing hey um even though even though you know what when you put your pins like this and you sew with them there's a there's a high there's a high chance that your needle is not gonna hit it, but we don't want to take the risk. <laughs> so sorry, that was my phone, guys. Um, if you heard that, so now go ahead and just stitch take out those pins and we are done now what i'm going to do is i am just going to clip that um seam 
to release the tension and make sure that everything is just a smooth um, relaxed curve and I'm also going to be cutting off some of that excess seam allowance and then when I'm done with that I'm gonna go and press that seam down on my iron making sure that um, yeah everything is nice and flat and, and crispy I am using the word crispy a lot today I don't know why <laughs> Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to then um, put my straps. So um, the strap placement is going to be the seam that connects the center front to the side front. That's where you're going to uh, place your straps for the first round. And then I am going to stitch those straps. Um, please note that I am putting my straps on the right side of the fabric. This is how your straps should be. Now go ahead and stitch them down quickly. When you are done stitching them down, you are going to be putting the other piece on top of it, making sure to um, sandwich the straps between the two pieces. And then you are going to stitch that top seam. But when you stitch that top seam, um, go start um, an inch after the the starting point basically so leave an inch open on both sides of the seams the side seams basically you'll see why we're doing this So for now I'm going to take this piece and just set it aside right now while I work on my center back which is the piece that has the gorgeous um, rouging. So now I'm going to take these two pieces, the center front pieces, center back pieces, um, the right sides together and I'm going to be stitching the top and the bottom seam closed and then I'm going to turn it inside out, press it with the iron and then I'm going to make my channels and loops. Now quickly go ahead and turn that piece inside out, press it with the iron and one centimeter away from the edge of the center, one centimeter away from the bottom seam and the top seam, we are going to make channeling and then um, your channeling is going to 100% depend on, depend on how wide your elastic is. So my elastic is 0 0.8 centimeters wide, that is why my channeling is um, one centimeter wide um, because I want everything to just fit um, perfectly. So go ahead and do that. Now what you're going to do is when you're done with this, we're going to make another um, channeling and in uh, we're going to make another channeling in the center of that piece how i do that is i go ahead and i fold that piece in half then i'm just going to notch the center i'm going to do the same thing with the other side notch the center and after notching that center i'm going to draw a straight line then i'm going to equally distribute um 0 0.5 centimeters on each side making sure that i have one centimeter and i am just going to continue that with the other loops in total not loops channels in total i am going to have one two three four five channels so 
so i'm going to continue like i said i'm just going to continue doing the same thing now i'm going to mark the center again of the distance between the um first channeling the top channeling and the middle channeling mark the center make a straight line equally distribute 0.5 centimeters on each side and that's my new channel um, for where i'm going to be putting my elastic So when we are done with this process we're going to obviously stitch all our channeling in and then we are going to use our center back piece um, as a guide for how long we need to make our elastics. So I'm just going to put my elastic comfortably um, to stretch um, along the width of that piece and I will know exactly how long my pieces need to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my loop turner, put it all the way inside, grab that elastic and pull it to all the way to almost the end of that up until it gets to yeah up until it gets to that um, opening right over there then I'm gonna quickly go and stitch it down so that it does not move and then I'm going to continue pulling it out to the other side stitch it down again to make sure that it doesn't move and make sure that your elastic is not twisting and turning inside right now make sure that it is laying nice and flat so when I get that elastic to show on the other side I'm gonna quickly take it to my sewing machine stitch it down so that obviously like I said it doesn't move and I'm going to be doing this with all of of my channels so tada this is how it will look so what I'm going to do now is let's go back to that front piece now remember I said that you should leave about an inch um, open from the start of that you see this is this is why I asked you to do that so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly go and top stitch uh, remembering to top stitch obviously when you start your top stitch um, skip about an inch and then start top stitching and then stop an inch before um, the end of that So now what I'm going to quickly do is I'm going to then um, finish off um, placing my straps. Now I want to make sure that I skip about half an inch, place the strap in and then I'm going to stitch it. So I know I'm not showing you exactly how I would do it but here's my strap. I'm taking my strap making sure that it's not twisted or anything then I'm going to go ahead and just place it in there remembering to just skip half an inch place it in comfortably and then i'm going to stitch it down so this is why i wanted you to not stitch that whole entire piece um that whole entire seam down because i knew that we had to do this before we place our shirt back in there Okay, so when you are done placing your straps in there, what you're going to do is you're going to turn the top inside out and then what I'm going to do quickly is, okay, there you go. You see that a half an inch is still open. So I'm going to place the top in, uh, inside out and then I'm going to quickly pin, 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 pin um, the bottom seam and then I'm going to stitch that bottom seam. But I am also going to leave an inch or two inches open so that I'm able to turn the top inside out. So let's go ahead and stitch there, leave an opening in, uh, to turn the top inside out and then I will tell you what to do next. So when I'm done with that, what I'm going to do is with the top still um, being 
the wrong side out i'm going to take that um shared back piece and i am going to fit it from one side all the way to the other edge and then i'm going to pin it down so there we go i'm putting it inside putting it inside and then when it lines up with that side seam basically i'm going to make sure that it's 100 percent lining up everything is good then i'm just going to pin it pin it pin it and then i'm going to sew it when i'm done sewing it i am going to do the same thing and just basically pull that piece to reach the opening on the other side do the same thing pin it down and then i'm going to stitch it down it's really like this top is is very easy to make and i'm I hope I am doing it justice by trying to explain it, um, but this is how it's going to look. So when I'm done stitching it down, you see there it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reach my hand into the other piece and I'm going to basically pull it to reach the other side um, of that top, right? So just reach your hand inside, pull it to reach the other side and then pin it again and do the exact same process that you did. So go ahead and just stitch it down over there. What I'm going to do is we are going to be using the little opening that we have in the bottom there. We're going to use that opening to turn the top inside out. And then when you are done turning the top out, obviously you're going to press it with an iron. And then that opening that we have over there, we are going to do a blind stitch to close it also before you turn your top inside out make sure that you do cut off the corners so that we do not have any bulking um, when we turn the top inside out get rid of the excessive um, threads that are hanging the loose threads So there we go i've turned the top inside out using that little hole now what i need to go do is i need to go press that top um quickly um on my iron and then i'm going to be obviously closing that little pocket 